You're listening to the BBC World Service from London. Welcome if you've just joined us. In a moment, we have a quarter of an hour of news in World Briefing. That's followed by Letter from America and Global Business. It's nine hours, Greenwich Mean Time. BBC World Service. Welcome to World Briefing with John Ovenden. The headlines at 9 o'clock GMT. The computer software giant Microsoft says it will fight a proposal by the United States Justice Department for the company to be split up. The former Deputy Prime Minister of Malaysia, Anwar Ibrahim, has lost an appeal against his conviction on corruption charges. And an opposition party in Zimbabwe says it's cancelled a planned rally today in the capital, Harare, for fear of attacks by government supporters. We'll have all those stories in full and another attempt to resolve the two-year-old border war between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Plus, in half an hour, Global Business takes stock of the major business developments around the world. This is the BBC in London. First roundup of the latest world news. BBC News with Dee Sebastian. The chairman of the computer software giant Microsoft, Bill Gates, has said he'll fight a recommendation by the United States government to have his company broken in two. The proposal from the US Justice Department follow is, follows a judge's ruling earlier this month that Microsoft was using its market dominance to thwart competition. This report by David Willis at Microsoft headquarters in Seattle. It was a proposal which Microsoft officials knew was coming, but not one they wanted to hear. A plan to divide the company into two, separating production of the Windows operating system, which currently runs 90% of the world's personal computers, from other software applications and, crucially, its internet browser. Under the government's proposal, Microsoft would also be forced to reveal key software codes to its competitors. The U.S. Justice Department believes such a move would restore competition in the industry. Microsoft's billionaire founder Bill Gates called the move disturbing. His spokesman said it was like telling McDonald's that it could only sell hamburgers, not fries, and that it had to give away its secret recipe. David Willis in Seattle. Microsoft has two weeks in which to respond, after which a judge will decide how the company should be punished. Mr. Gates said Microsoft would fight the ruling all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary, a process a BBC correspondent says could take years. The former Malaysian Deputy Prime Minister Anwar Ibrahim has denounced a court decision to uphold a conviction passed against him in 1999. He's currently serving a six-year prison term for corruption. A three-judge court of appeal said it found no reason to overturn the verdict handed down in April last year. Lawyers for Mr Anwar say they'll take his case to a higher court. Our Southeast Asia correspondent Simon Ingram has more details. This latest ruling in the tortuous legal saga surrounding Anwar Ibrahim is a severe but hardly unexpected blow to his dwindling hopes of ever resurrecting.